He said, I've not found your deeds completed in the sight of my God. What, de what deeds are supposed to be completed? What, what deeds are you supposed to be doing? What's the work that we're supposed to be doing? Oh, gosh. Wait a minute. That's exactly what the apostles came and asked Jesus That's Christ. Me. Tell us what, what the works, what works should we be doing? And Jesus said, believe on him who the Father. Believe on Jesus said, believe on me. That's the work. That's right. That's the work. And that will bear fruit in your life. It will change you. It will change you into somebody who becomes a walking blessing. It's not that you're giving out little trinkets and toys. It is every place that you go, you are bringing that word of life. There is nothing more important than God's word. You know, people left Jesus Christ. This is, this is like I said, there's nothing new under the sun, is what Solomon said. In John chapter 6, it talks about people that were following Jesus Christ, and they chose to walk away from him, consciously to walk away from Jesus, because his word was too hard for them, too difficult. So Jesus didn't go running after him and chase him. You know what he did? He turned to his apostles. He turned to his disciples. He said, what about you? You're going to leave too? You're going to go too? Where else? And Peter go? said, where else can we go? You have the words of eternal life. Now, those words of eternal life, if you are a Christian, those, <coughs> that seed has been planted in you, but it's been written on the tablets of your heart. Yes. You are to bring and speak that word of eternal life. Every place you go, you bring words of life, the words of Jesus Christ, if you're truly a Christian. If, you're, if you call yourself a Christian, let me ask you a question. When was the last time, out, I'm not talking about any church building, when was the last time when you went to a grocery store, when you went to a gas, gas station, when, when, at work, when was the last time you shared the word of God with somebody? Because that's the word of encouragement. That's the word of life. That brings life into people's life. Like I said, I'm not saying this for condemnation. But I pray to God that it would poke you and make you give thought to what the word of God says. Not what I say, but to what the word of God says. This is the Bible study poke. Well, I pray that it is, right? Because he said, if you don't do that, if you don't, and you don't repent, he said, I will come like a thief, and you will not know what hour I will come to you. I'm going to tell you something. Before I was saved, and I was I was raised very, you know, I was raised in a religious family. I wasn't a very religious guy, but I was one of those. I was basically one of those C and E Christians. Right? There was no doubt about it in my own life. Did you read that? So remember what you received. What have you received? The word. No, it says, so remember what you received and heard, and keep it and repent. Did I not say everything? I didn't hear it. I'm sorry. I was must have been thinking so if, if you missed it, maybe you missed it. Yes. Okay, so let me just say this. Repent! Okay. <laughs> Let's change your ways. Okay. Change your yes, direction. Yes, I, I was a man with a plan before I got saved. I knew that the life that I was that I was living was not pleasing to God. Like I said, I was a cultural Christian. I knew enough. I had heard enough. I had received enough to know that my life didn't line up with what I knew would be pleasing to God. So I was a man with a plan. I figured, well, I'm going to wait, and just before I die, it's like a I'm going to I'm going to be good. I'll run off to the confession of. And, and everything will be all right. God's going to come like a thief, like a thief in the night. Mm -hmm. You know, not when you're prepared, because if, you, if you're not, haven't repented, you don't have that right relationship, let me tell you something, you are not prepared for what is coming. Mm -hmm. You're not. You're not. Today, as we're filming this, today is December 12th, 2014. Friday, which we're, right? We're filming it on Friday. This is, if you could, if you could live another hundred years, you will still never have another Friday, November twelfth, December, December twelfth, two thousand fourteen. Thank God for a suitable help. You only get one. That's why the word of God says, "Redeem the time." 
especially in these evil last days, okay?